So perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful sunshine. These are indeed conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar and it has added to a really jovial, happy mood in the stands, helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve order, very much the dress code. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. Ukraine braced for their anthem. Ukraine have opted for a 4-5-1 formation, it appears, Jim. Well, most teams that use this system, Peter, will work it in a, a way where, yes, they'll have a 4-5-1 shape off the ball and ideally a 4-3-3 shape on it. We often see that 4-1-4-1 shape too, and that has an obvious flexibility about it. It's a, it's a popular managerial selection because of that. It's just extremely flexible with all the numbers I've mentioned. So off we go then. Plays it out to the wing. Cross deflected behind for a corner. to dink one in and he's made sure that that won't get through tried to play it through oh, Peter his body shape was a giveaway before he made the pass and its obviousness was was appreciated Zinchenko Zinchenko tries a shot He's pulled off a fine save. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Tries to get it forward quickly. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. I wonder what you've seen, Jim, over the early moments of the game. Well, both sides seem happy with the patient approach for now, still trying to have a good look at one another. And it's Yarmolenko. Lovely feet. Looking to get... Oh, shooting chance! And that would have been some goal. He was set on rounding it off in fitting style, but he couldn't make it fit. Hoists it forward. It's a long pass, but not the most accurate. Stepanenko. And it's played forward. And out to safety. Zinchenko. Breaks on here. Zinchenko. A 
And he's on a charge. In comes the cross. It is deadlocked. Forward it goes. Zinchenko. Half an hour played now. That's surely a foul free kick. It's on a and the shot. Goal, Ukraine. Lovely goal. Perfect poise to set himself for the strike. Ukraine take the lead. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. He's through, now is he in? And he's looking at the referee, but the referee is shaking his head. Yarmolenko. Ukraine are leading with half-time drawing close. Hardly anything between the sides, and the score is 1-0. Gets into some space. Lovely bit of skill. Plenty waiting in the middle. Only partially clear. And that's a throw-in. Zinchenko, and here's Yarmolenko. Let's keep distance on it. Zinchenko. Had a shot. Oh, clearance is short. Gets it back. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. And it's played forward. There's the whistle for half-time. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to go in with the lead at half-time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Ukraine come off having scored the only goal of the game so far. It's been tight, it's been exciting, and there is certainly plenty for us to chew on during the break. And we're off again. Ukraine going well here, and they're in a good position to kick on and add to their lead. They don't have to overcommit, but they can place more emphasis on stretching their advantage without necessarily neglecting things defensively. Oh, no question, that's a foul.
that's the first attempt, Peter, we've seen at one of those raking passes just to spread the play. Oh, sweet feet. Zinchenko. Stepanenko. Out to the right. Crossed in. Hits one! Worth a try. Shame about the outcome. Oh, that's fantastic improvisation he showed there. Adjusted himself very quickly, but it's rare that they come off. Forward it goes. Just brushed off the ball there. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Looks to thread it through. There are a few waiting for it. Turns and goes back. Keeps everyone guessing. Out to the left it goes. Hit into the middle. Cleared away. Yeah, it looks like a, a change of approach, and it may just freshen things up. Trying to get there. Sinchenko gets it out to the wing. Good take, and he's had a look. And the finish! They've done it! And with that goal comes comfort. A oh, high-quality goal, lovely first touch, sumptuous second. Ukraine get themselves a two-goal cushion. The turning of the screw comes to mind, Peter. They've got them where they want them. Zinchenko. Zinchenko. Yarmolenko. Gets wrestled off the ball. All the way back, and they start again. Hoists it forward, cuts it out. That's the sort of defending that is going to upset the opposition. It already has, actually. Well, they would seem to have made the right choice to, to dampen the creative spark here. Zinchenko. Over to the left. There's the ball. Up for the header! And now they can launch a counter. Tries to get it forward quickly. Stepanenko. And here's Yarmolenko. Promising gets up to head it! Oh, it looked like 3 0 for sure. He'll be fuming with himself for not converting. He could have killed it off. So here comes the substitution. Well, to wait until now to make this change seems a bit baffling. He's expecting the miraculous to turn this around from here. And again, they run up against stubborn defending.
Yarmolenko. It's a good run down the right. Where could this lead? Played in by Yarmolenko. Could be a chance here. Chooses to go back. Shot at goal! And that would have won it. Another change here. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honor shift. And that's been levered clear. It's come through. He's gone for it. Oh, what a wonderful stop! Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Gets into a dangerous position. Strong punch. Time added on will be two minutes. Ball. Who's going to get there? And that will be the final act. This win by a very competent performance. Without doubt, they were the better side, and the result reflects as much. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Ukraine simply imposed their strength from start to finish, and this became as predictable as predicted. So we've reached the end of our coverage for today. Many thanks to Jim Beglin alongside me. And we'll both see you next time.